Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new, check out some other videos right here. And at the end of the video, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button if you like my content. So today's video, I want to talk about some urban legends. The other day, I came across one and it creeped me out. It changed my mind about candy. And I love candy, unless it's a raisin type candy. And then it's just gross. I feel like I'm eating old people. I don't know if you ever got that feeling. Ugh. This legend takes place in a small town outside of Dallas. I'm about six miles away from Dallas, so this makes it kind of worse. This story is about a woman, Claire Crane. Back in 1895, she was accused of killing her husband with candy. A couple years before her husband died, her five-year-old daughter died. Now, Claire blamed her husband for the death of their daughter. This gave the idea to townspeople that she murdered him. Seek revenge or something? It makes sense. After her husband died, she was put into a mental hospital of North Texas. I think it was called Tyrell State Hospital or Ter Terrell State Hospital. During her time at the hospital, she fabricated a doll out of her bed sheets and named it Marcy. Now what makes this doll more creepy is that Marcy is the name of her deceased daughter. Claire is being released, and before her release, she wrote a note to her sister on how the doctor was releasing her and she'll be returning home. Now the most creepy part about her note to her sister would be telling her sister how ecstatic her daughter Marcy is to finally to be able to return home. Now that's even more creepy. But in reality, she was not getting better. Her daughter doesn't exist anymore, which is sad to say. And the only reason why she was being released was because the hospital was overcrowded. After she left the hospital, no one heard from her ever again. They like, just disappeared and vanished. Now here's where this shit gets more creepy. In the early 19th century, children started to disappear. And not in just random areas, but in the areas near Claire's old estate. It is said before the children went missing, there was candy placed near the bedroom windows. Now being a kid, you're under the impression that your parents are gonna take away that candy. And you just want candy. After a while, candy was not the only thing that was left by the window. Notes were also left asking the children, do you wanna play? Signed, the candy lady. And at this point, this is where the children start to disappear. One time a farmer found the teeth of a child wrapped in candy wrappers at the edge of the fields. At this point, the police were informed and after weeks of search parties and investigations, they stumbled upon a body. The body of a young boy with his eyes mutilated, his pockets full of candy. As the word spread and children started hearing more and more about this, they started to come clean and talk. At first, it sounded crazy. Parents didn't think anything of it and the detectives got word of it and they started putting pieces together and everything started to make sense. Now, to this day, no one ever caught the candy lady. No one has even seen Claire Crane since she was released from the hospital. So every time a child was missing, the townspeople blame the candy lady. I don't know how I feel about this story really. All I can say is damn. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making this video. If you liked this video, hit that like button so I know. And also too, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, peace guys.